Okay, then you really you want to find yourself an angle that obviously is going to be relatively easy to cut away. So obviously around here, I mean it's not too bad, but you know you might be a little bit more awkward coming around here. Around here you've got a nice angle that looks like it will cut away quite nicely. Maybe cut away from the road there. Um, so and then what we'll do is we'll get as tight in as we can for what we want and then we're going to give it the highest resolution and then we get a little snippy snippy tool create new and then we grab this little bag we So into the photon shops we go. We go into the photons. We get our folder. And we drag and drop our little image into the photon shops. And then bad sapping, bad tap, boom. And then what do we do, Jim Son? Well, here's what we do. We're gonna grab our little lasso tool, right? Gonna grab our little lasso tool, okay, and then we're gonna get our polygon tool, and then we're just gonna start chopping around it, chop it around, Jim. We're gonna chop around it. Tell you what, here I'll probably snip that here, probably cut that again and come back and chop that bit. And then anything that's 3D or anything that sits on like the kind of dimension, you want to start kind of chopping round. Okay, so that's our rough cut out. So then we, what we want to do is you want to come over here and you want to hold Alt and you want to click on here. Oh, sorry, missed that stage, uh, a stage of the process. Then you want to come up here, select inverse, hold Alt, hit down here. So there we go, we've got our rough cut out of our diagram. Um, so obviously, now that we've done that, we can use our brush tool, you probably know all of this, but just in case you don't. Um, and obviously white is going to um, bring it back, and black is going to take it away. So you can just hit X and hit X and hit X, and all that shit. Okie dokie. Right, so now what we want to do is just give ourselves a new layer. Um, and let's make a background out of this layer just to give us a bit of a color to work on. I'm going to go with that gray. So, the, the guys that asked for this said so they wanted a gray background with the soily bit to be in gray. So, this is what we're going to do. There's probably other ways of doing this, but this is how I do it. I'm going to duplicate these layers down. I'm going to merge those two layers, and then I'm going to take my magic wand tool and I'm going to whack it around here. And then biggity boom, Jimmy, we've got a nice little selection there. Then we can get rid of this layer. We can create a new layer. And then we can fill this layer with a cooler. They asked for a darker gray, like I said, in the soil. So we're just gonna whack that in there. Okay, control D to deselect everything, or you can deselect everything up here. Um, and then now we have a Celestion, a Celestion of our Tigalang. But I've also been an absolute Montard again, so I'm gonna go back quickly because again, I forgot to inverse these pesky layers. So there we go, we've got our, our shape in the right place. So deselect that again, then we're gonna wanna get this. I definitely should have um, made the um, cathedral a little bit better of a cut out, but you yeah, know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Right, so this is how we make it a look like it has the dimensions of the three. 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly make a bigger canvas size just because I'm a bit cray cray and I decided to make it um, a bit too small. So I'm going to quickly just sort that out real quick. Then we're going to go on here. I'm going to chuck a bit more of this on here. Then we're going to quickly do all of that. Um, bring our opacity up quickly. It's going to make that a lot easier. Well, that's bloody annoying. Right, so we got rid of all that silly nonsense. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to bring this layer above this. I'm not actually naming any of them um, right now. Um, and then what we want to do is come down here. I want to get a little selection tool, get onto our furthest edge that links up with that part. Um, give it one click and then hold shift. And, and that's going to give us a perfect straight line down. It'll just make that a little bit more accurate. Hold shift again, perfect line down. And then boom, we we'll make this shape here and we fill with this color here. Okay. So that is a deselect. Um, this is not been a very tidy, so we just go inside of here get our brush tool and then we tidy this one okay whatever happened there we do not know we do not know okay so then we have another step here what we're going to do is we're going to grab this layer we take our one tool we get this one okay jimmy so and then what we must do is go here get our gradient tool now you see here we have the transparent gradient so we just want uh, one side going into opaque okay okay i can't remember how you get back to those i think they're just in some of here you will find that you will press the button i think your one will be default okay anyway so then here we will need a darker color yes darker <laughs> And then what we do is we get make sure we've clicked on radial. So up here this is one side. It will be going straight across like this, which can work, kind of works there. But and then we want to use a radial. So a radial will give us more of a tone. I think we need a bit darker here, you see. And then we use our radial tool and we pull across. Okay. Maybe a little bit, uh, there we go, a little bit smaller will give us a bit more of a gradient and makes it feel a little bit more of dimensions. Okay, then control D to deselect again. Then what we will do is we will take um, this one and uh, this one and we will group, select them all together and we will group from layers. Okay. Then on this layer, we will double click, then we'll bring up this window and we will take a drop shadow. I must do some more tidying up down the bottom there, you can see. Okay, the drop shadow, then we want the angle to look straight down onto the model, straight down onto the model. And then the distance will go further away. And then you can play around with things, make it look a little different, a little good, a little better. And then we're going to come back in this group. We're going to slick, click onto this um, layer again, and we're going to press B on the keyboard, uh, hold down Alt and slide, um, and then we have our brush tool, and it is not on this layer. Okay, so that is that one, um, and then we take all of these layers, um, I'm going to click this one, I'm going layer, I'm going to, um, going to here, blue, I'm going to background from layer just to lock this one in, this one can be deleted now, and then now we can move to where we want, 
We have one more step, which is to take this. I will send you this because you will need it. And this is what you must do. Um, take uh, this logo, drag and drop, go to the bottom. Job is a good one. Export, quick export. Then we put it what we want. Send post cathedral. 3D diorama. Nicholas persevered. Okay, then that is done.